see anything. Good morning. Good morning, Lois. Okay. Morning, Kay. We're waiting for Mario. He's back. Yay. Morning, Vicky. Morning, Manda. Yes, Mario's back. Well, who will be? There he is. I missed him too. Oh, good morning. Just, just, just now at a call. Give it one more minute and then we'll start. Good morning, Trisha. Uh oh. Can you all still hear us and see us? We checked out there for a minute. Good morning, Brian. Okay, good. All right, well, we will begin. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Now, beginning on page 79 in your Book of Common <clears throat> Prayer, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most As merciful, merciful God, God, we confess, we confess that to we you sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. <clears throat> Continuing on page 80. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turning to page 82, we will say together the Venite, Psalm 95. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. In his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. 
and kneel before, before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. hand. Oh, oh, today that you would hearken to his voice. And our Psalms for the day are <clears throat> Psalms 41 and 52. Psalm 41 can be found on page 641 in your Book of Common Prayer. And we will read responsibly by whole verse. Happy are they who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. He does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sick bed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their heart collects false rumors. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise <clears throat> evil against me. A deadly thing, they say, has fastened on him. He has taken to his bed and he will never get up again. Even my best friend, whom I trusted, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O oh Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you hold me fast and shall set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. 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 And now turning to page, excuse me, to Psalm 52, on page 657, you will continue. Psalm 52, on page 657. You tyrant, why do you boast of wickedness against the godly all day long? You plot ruin. Your tongue is like a sharpened razor, a worker of deception. You love evil more than good and lying more than speaking the truth. You love all words that hurt, O oh, you deceitful tongue. O oh, that God would demolish you utterly, topple you and snatch you from your dwelling and the root and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous shall see and tremble and they shall laugh at him saying, this is the one who did not take God for a refuge, but trusted in great wealth and relied upon wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will give you thanks for what you have done and declare the goodness of your name in the presence of the godly. Glory to the Father and, and to the, the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today is from the <clears throat> book of Sirach in the Apocrypha, Sirach chapter 19, verses 4 through 17. Sirach chapter 19, verses 4 through 17. One who trusts others too quickly has a shallow mind, and one who sins does wrong to himself. One who rejoices in wickedness will be condemned, but one who hates gossip has less evil. Never repeat a conversation, and you will lose nothing at all. With friend or foe, do not report it, and unless it would be a sin for you, do not reveal it. For someone may have heard you and watched you, and in time will hate you. Have you heard something? Let it die with you. Be brave, and it will not make you burst. Having heard something, the fool suffers birth pangs, like a woman in labor with a child. Like an arrow stuck in a person's thigh, so is gossip inside a fool. Question a friend. Perhaps he did not do it. Or if he did, so that may he not do it again. Question a neighbor. Perhaps he did not say it. Or if he said it, so that he may not repeat it. Question a friend. Or often it is slander so do not believe everything you hear. A person may make a slip without intending it who has not sinned with his tongue. Question your neighbor before you threaten him and let the law of the Most High take its course. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now continuing on page 86 
Book of Common Prayer, we will say together Canticle 19, the first song of Isaiah. Page 86. It's Canticle 9. Oh, it's Canticle 9. I'm sorry. That's okay. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my Savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading today is from the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verses 1 through 14. It's Revelation, chapter 11, verses 1 through 14. Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Come and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there, but do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample over the holy city for 42 months. And I will grant my two witnesses authority to prophesy for, the, for 1,260 days wearing sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. Anyone who wants to harm them must be killed in this manner. They have authority to shut the sky so that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have authority over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that, sh that comes up from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them, and their dead bodies will lie in the streets of the great city that is prophetically called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, members of the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb, and the inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and celebrate and exchange presents because these two prophets have been a torment to the inhabitants of the earth. But after three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them, and they stood on their feet, and those who saw them were terrified. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud while their enemies watched them. At that moment, there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past. The third woe is coming very soon. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now continuing on page 94, we will say together, Canticle 19, on page 94, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler, ruler of the, the universe, universe, Lord God, God Great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The gospel this morning is found in the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 14 through 26. Luke, chapter 11, verses 14 through 26. Now he was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed. 
But some of them said, she cast out demons by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. Others, to test him, kept demanding from him a sign from heaven. But he knew what they were thinking and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself becomes a desert and house falls on house. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebub. But now if I cast the, out the demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your exorcists cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out the demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his castle, his property is safe. But when one stronger than he attacks him and overpowers him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and derides his plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it wanders through waterless regions looking for a resting place. But not finding any, it says, I will return to my house from which I came. When it comes, it finds it swept and put in order. Then it goes and brings seven other spirits, more evil than itself, and they enter and live there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, continuing on page 96 of your Book of Common Prayer, we will say together the words of the Apostles' Creed. Page, uh, page 96, excuse me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now, if y'all would take a minute to um, write down any prayer requests you might have, that would be appreciated. And now we were going to continue with our prayers on page 97 of your Book of Common Prayer. There. Giving you all time to put in prayer requests. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Continuing on page 97, we will say responsibly, Suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, that your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the people be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The collect for today can be found on page 235. It's proper 25. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for mission. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to pe preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. 
Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, the offer of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversities, of any adversaries, through the might of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, we remember before you all the poor and neglected persons whom it would be easy for us to forget, the homeless, the destitute, the old and the sick, and all who have none to care for them. Help us to heal those who are broken in body or spirit and to turn their sorrow into joy. Grant this, Father, for the love of your Son, for who for our sake became poor. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now we will take a look at your prayer request beginning here. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning with great thanks and giving, great thanks and just bless you, Lord, that you woke us up for another day. We love you and worship you, draw our hearts nearer to you. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit and hear us as we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we lift up to you um, all students and teachers and administrators, Lord, as they go through this time of um, consistent change and struggle. Um, Lord, grant the teachers wisdom and a heart to teach the children. Um, let them not become discouraged or complacent. We ask that you fill the students with the will to gain knowledge Lord, let them learn um, virtually if they are away from their classrooms and in the classroom, Lord, if they're lucky enough to be there. Um, Father, just open their ears and their hearts and um, that they may learn, that this may help our country later. They may be educated and get good jobs, Lord, that they can continue your service and serve you um, and be the children that you created them to be. Father, God bless Lucy, and please restore her to good health. And we pray for Carol's sister, Joan, who has COVID, and for her family. Lord, we pray for healing for her and for Kay's grandson, Brad, who is recovering from, from COVID-19. Lord, for Heather and for her family. And we please pray for continued peace and healing for David Jeffress. Please pray for all those living alone, Lord. Let your Holy Spirit, your holy angels minister to them. Let them feel your presence in a mighty way. Know that they are not alone, but in their loneliness they may reach out to you and find you. Comfort them, give them hope and strength, and, and let them sing praises and honor to your name. And so fill them with joy that even in their loneliness they know they're not alone and still worship and praise you. We ask that for those who are alone, that their loved ones and friends do not forget them, but reach out to them, minister to them, love them, and keep them company. We continue to pray for healing, Lord, for all those we name and all those left unnamed. Those that are sick, Lord, we ask you to lay your healing hand upon them in a mighty way. Dispel all the fears that beset them. We ask that you give their caregivers wisdom, love, and patience as they care for um, these sick children of yours. Lifting up especially to you, John McCauley, Jorge Aviles, John D. Tanner, Lisa Farrell, Barbara Woodruff, John F. Tanner. We pray especially 
for Deacon Diana Luck, who is mourning the loss of her husband, George. Lord, it's been a while since he's um, come to be with you in heaven, but I know there must still be loneliness there for her. Father, lift her up, strengthen her, um, and let her persevere in her ministry. Um, I ask that you surround her with loving family and watch over her and bless her. <clears throat> Lord, we pray for all those who are seeking employment, especially for Cheryl, for Richard, for Carl, and we ask a special blessing on Sam Terrell as he's learning his new job. Lord, let him bring joy. Let him learn that new job and enjoy it and bring those joy to those around him as he does bring so much joy to us. Let him be accepted and loved and let him ever remember your presence all about him and around him. He is your faithful servant, Lord, and we give you thanks for him. We pray for all missions, Lord, for our missions in Honduras, in Uganda, for our UTD ministry, for our home church ministry, and for all those who are reaching out um, to those who do not know you. Lord, our missions, especially here, for Albert, for Verita, <clears throat> for Samira, for Betsy, and Lord, for all our clergy, for David, for Neil, and our staff, Sarah Jo, Margaret, and Corey, Lisa, as she heals, and Lord, all those that I may have forgotten, for, for our custodians, for the, those who take care of our church. Lord, she unite us, unite us as one, keep us together, and we thank you for the blessings that you've continued to provide for us and for our parish during this time of COVID. Oh, Lord, we give you great thanks for that. Let us use our blessings to your great glory. Um, and we don't, Lord, let us remember Samira and Gateway of Grace, her husband Dennis, and all the volunteers there. Lord, there's, she ministers to her own church for, for Grace Community and for Holy Nativity in Plano and all her refugees. Lord, strengthen she and her husband and those around her. Open the hearts of those who do not know you. For those who are being ministered to, fill them with your Holy Spirit, both the teachers and the students. Lord, bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now continuing <clears throat> on page 101, we'll say together the, the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, <clears throat> Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Page, turning to page 102, continue with the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, our Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, let's see. I looked online this morning. The best place to get information is our weekly newsletter. Um, or I'll go onto the website. There's lots going on. Pumpkin carving. Um, 
I think they're signing that for, what is it called, corals and car. Anyway, Christmas, Christmas Carol thing. Um, that's online. Um, a reminder, outdoor worship services are on Saturday at 5.30 in the north parking lot on Greenleaf. Outdoor worship Sunday at 8.45 a.m. North parking lot on Greenleaf. And then our live stream continues, as always, uh, live streaming Sundays at 10 a.m. on Facebook. And then daily morning prayer at 8 o'clock. Um, noonday prayer begins at 12.10, Monday through Saturday. And then Compline begins at 8 p.m., and that is daily as well and on Facebook. Um, we wish you all a blessed day. Bye con Dios. We will see you next Monday. Blessed day.